If you're like me, you're probably tired of seeing all of these amateurish mock-ups of the latest collaboration between Swatch and Blanc Bond that's about to release in a few days. Well, stop being tired because now we have the actual promo images that's been leaked on the internet because, you know, it's the internet. Everything leaks in the internet, right? And we're going to dive into the many different details that makes this watch collaboration collectible. And we'll answer a few of the more important questions such as, are you actually going to dive with this watch in the first place? Okay, let's begin first with how this came up in the first place. In the past few days, the rumor mill started to churn once again when German newspapers started to publish this teaser from Swatch. The teaser was it's the Swatch logo under a pool that's inside a crown uh, icon. Now, this crown icon was similar to the crown with the uh, Swatch and Omega collaboration, but this time the crown is different. It looks like a dive crown and there's no Omega insignia anywhere, but rather it's just black. Of course, people started to jump the rumor mill and said that, hey, this is the rumored Blanc Pond collaboration. And of course, they are right because that's not the first time that it was heard. In 2022, in fact, there was a rumor about the Blanc Pond slash Swatch collaboration that's allegedly a bioceramic version of the 50 Fathoms. This is behind the hype of the Moon Swatch when it was first released, the hype behind collecting the, these pieces, the news of those bleeding paints on your wrists and QC controls and qualities of these bioceramic materials and of course and of course the inevitable scalping in the internet all of that buried this rumor about the Blanc Pond slash Swatch collaboration and now we've seen in the past few days how Swatch boutiques started to um, show off these 50 fathom cases and there's for sure no mistake that it's going to be a Black Pond cross swatch collaboration that's about to be eminently launched. And now, three days before the actual launch, we found these leaked images and we're going to discuss all the juicy details about this latest collaboration. Now, the first thing to note is that there's only five models on this one. It's going to be named after the oceans of planet Earth, Atlantic, Pacific, Indian, Arctic, and Antarctic oceans. Now, these will have the bioceramic version of the 50 fathoms case with matching wing keepers and NATO straps. Now three of these will have the black dome crystals while the other two will have colored versions. Now the important thing to note here, we'd like to call the first three as like the base models. You'll find out later why it's called the base models and the other two, the, uh, the polar uh, models, which is the Antarctic and the Arctic versions are slightly different compared to the other ones. Now the base models will have these spear-shaped indexes while the polar models will have these circular indexes. Likely all of them will be looped as it would be asinine to think that these dive watches won't have loom on them. And of course the Moose watch had some um, relative loom to it so there's enough capability for Swatch to produce this. Now the dials for the base models will be pre-made and textured. As you can see in the uh, images, there's ample texture on all of these base models. Notice too that these models will have an appropriate date window, which is fascinating because the other two polar models will have a no date dial while featuring some very familiar Blanc Pond Easter eggs such as the no radiation icon on the six o'clock uh, portion and a sort of a homage mill spec icon on the other one. All of these cases will have the Swatch branding on the side of the case, which is polarizing, pun intended, to many people. But to me, I kind of uh, feel okay about it because it is a Swatch collaboration after all, which is kind of like a bioceramic toyish watch that is really for novelty's sake. So I don't really mind having that kind of engraving at the side of the case. Now the knurlings are very distinctly Blanc Pond, as you can see like these angular knurlings that is present on the bezel and crown. And at the back, you can clearly see a 300 feet water resistance rating on these watches. We'll come back to that if that's actually something that you'd like to test. 
On the case, you'll see also that these will have drilled lug holes. Now, it's left to be seen if these are actual drilled lug holes or just for cosmetic reasons. Now, what's interesting about this is that compared to the Moon Swatch, this will come with a System 51 movement inside. So, if you consider this an actual Blancpain watch, then you'd still have the spirit of Blancpain of not having a quartz movement inside. Still on the back side, you'll see some unique prints on the System 51 rotors. Now, keep in mind, System 51 rotors are actually plastic clear discs that can be printed on, which is kind of amazing and kind of, you know, fun to see. And here in this collection, we will see the prints of the actual oceans that it represents printed on the rotor. Also printed at the back are the nudie branches. Is that actually how it's supposed to be pronounced? Nudie branches? Okay. Nudie branches or sea slugs that represent each of the oceans. There's a different species on the back of these case packs, which is a fun callback to Blancpain's uh, initiative to save ocean or marine life. Another virtue there. Many are suspecting that these are going to cost around $400 to $600, and it's going to be only available at select stores initially. Now, judging from how Swatch release the Moon Swatches, it's going to be a mad scramble once again to get these limited edition watches. Well, not limited edition, but these special edition watches. Now, here are some of the questions about this release. Are you actually going to dive with this watch? Don't kid yourself. No, don't. You're going to buy this because you want to collect them. That's the very essence of this um, collection, is for you to collect them. And in fact, it is easier to collect because there's only five of them. Now, the problem is, which one will be available and where? And will the hype still be there? Yes, I think there's going to be enough hype for this one because I see online already when they saw these leaked images, many are actually enthusiastic at getting one. I want to get one. I want to get the yellow version and uh, one of the polar uh, versions as well. Maybe not the red one, but maybe the gray one. Those are the ones that I like. Now, for those who wanted to be like Daniel Craig, they'll probably get the base blue model. And probably the engine model is the worst performing or the worst one to get, as that could be the more eccentric uh, choice. Now, another question that I saw online was, will the Moon Swatch be discontinued now that this new bioceramic watch will be released? And to flat out say, I think it's not going to be discontinued. These can be two parallel collections that can exist. Not to mention that Swatch has been using the Moon Swatch and re-releasing them with these gold uh, seconds hand or gold chronograph hands. So I don't think that it's going to be discontinued, but rather it's another thing for you to collect. So all you logical pirates out there, hold on to your wallets and wait until all of the hype dies down and get one of these blank bond uh, scuba fathoms. Now that's another thing that you can see in this in case back is clearly says scuba 50 fathoms, but I would like to call it scuba fathoms because you know I want to go against the grain, be rebellious, be a pirate, a real one. You know, unlike all of you other baby pirates out there that's just pretending to be a pirate, but then you're not living up to all of its virtues. And finally, the biggest pirate of them all is Swatch because they have once again stolen another iconic model from another brand and re release it into their own boutiques and cash in, similar to what they did with Moon Swatch. Yes, Blanc Juan is owned by the Swatch group, but nevertheless, it's another bioceramic version of an iconic case. What will Swatch Pirate next? Comment down below. I'm interested to see what your ideas are and what your suggestions would be. Because you know, I'm the only pirate that cares here. Try that with Swatch. See if they actually care. They won't reply. I'm the only one.